Grade 12, Word Formation, Units 7 and 8, Students Book, pages 112 and 124. Lesson Objectives, today we are going to have two different objectives. Learn how to form new words using prefixes and suffixes. Form new words to complete a text correctly. How do we form new words in English? By adding either prefixes, for example, able, so we add the prefix un, it will be unable, or suffixes, for example, effect, we add the suffix ive, it will be effective. When a new word is formed, it becomes a different part of speech. Here are some examples for you. A verb can become a noun. Let's see. Create. Uh -huh. A verb. Creation. We omit E and we add I-O-N. Imagine. We omit E uh -huh. and the noun. Imagination. We add a T I O N. Motivate. Again, we omit E and we add I O N. Here are more examples. A verb can become an adjective. Attract. This is a verb. Uh -huh. Attractive. We add I V E. Thrill. A verb, the adjective, thrilling, we add ing. Remark, the verb, adjective, remarkable, we add able. Here are more examples for you. A noun can become an adjective. Interest. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So the noun interest has become interesting by adding ing. Tradition noun, adjective traditional, we add the suffix al. Effect, mm -hmm. the noun effect will become an adjective effective, we add only ive. Misery, Measurable, we omit Y and add A, B, L, E. More examples. An adjective can become an adverb. Uh -huh. Historical will become historically. We add L, Y. Emotional, emotionally, L, Y. Positive, positively, L, Y. Or a noun can become a verb. For example, carriage. Uh -huh. In carriage, we add the prefix EN. Now let's move to student book, page 112, exercise 2. It's asking you to use the word given in capitals to form a word that fits in the gap. These are the capitals and these are the gaps. So what do we need right now? To read the text, to go through the text and to find the correct form of the word. But it depends on the part of the speech. So I have to read well and try to know which part of speech is needed through the context. What I'm asking you right now to stop watching the video and try to identify which part of a speech in each gap. Now let's check our answers and see. Number one, more. Huh, so I need an adjective, an adjective from thrill. Excellent, more thrilling. The most 
marked, mark it noun, I need an adjective, from attract, very good, attractive, here you can buy everything from, number three, antiques, noun, delight, I need an adjective from delight to describe the noun, so, awesome, delightful, number four, and this was, so he's describing a whole case, this was the side of a market, so we need an adverb from history, uh -huh. hysterically. Number five, Sukhwak was repelled using materials, noun, from, uh, so I need an adjective to describe the noun material, from tradition, huh? traditional, very good. And methods of, I need a noun, a noun from construct, awesome, construction. It will take you back to an, error, so two different errors, comparative, adjective from early, earlier, it's very easy. The market is best enjoy it in the evening when the restaurants serve a of delicious dishes. So we need a noun from very, yeah, variety, excellent. And street, entertain people. Aha, uh -huh, I need a noun, a person from perform. Very good, performers with their skills. A noun, I need an adjective from remark. Yes, remarkable, wonderful. Now let's go to exercise four, page 112. He's asking you to do what? To fill in the gaps with the correct form of the words in brackets. What's our job right now? To read the text, go through the text, and try to find out which part of the speech is needed in each gap. Take your time, pause the video, and try to find the correct answer. Now let's check answers. Feels. So I need an adjective from misery. Excellent. Measurable. Find the. Uh -huh. We need a noun from motivate. Wonderful. Motivation. The most ways. We need an adjective from effect. Awesome. Effective. A physical. Physical is an adjective. So we need a noun from active. Wonderful. Activity. Number five. It can be past time. Noun. So we need an adjective from recreate. Excellent. Recreational. Number six. Physically. And. Uh -huh, and. So I have here an adverb. We need another adverb from emotion. Excellent. Emotionally. And. Uh, or it can be a profession. Pursuit. So noun. I need another adjective from profession. Wonderful. Professional. Now follow exercise four. Now we need to read the text and find the correct answers. You have to post a video and uh, to figure out which part of the speech is needed in each gap. Take your time. Let's check answers. Your possessive pronoun, so it needs a noun from confident. Excellent, confidence. Again, your uh -huh, possessive pronoun needs a noun from imagine. Wonderful, imagination. Make you think, think of the verb. So we need an adverb from positive. Yes, positively, thank you. Exercise four, page 124. He's asking you to complete the gaps with the correct form of the words in capital. Go through the sentences and try to find in each one, in each gap, which part of the speech. Take your time, post the video, and try to figure out the correct answer. Now let's check our answers. Very, adverb. So we need an adjective. Yes, very proud. She is very, again, adverb needs an adjective from no, knowledgeable. Stella needs a lot of noun from carriage, but here I need another noun. Uh -huh. Encouragement. Four. Rebecca always sets her alarm too. She. I need a verb from sure to ensure. But 
he was look at here I have contrast but so the opposite of able is unable finally don't forget to do your homework on teams today thank you very much